Now students, we will study about the plateaus. Plateau is an elevated track of relatively flat land. It has one gentle slope and other may be steep slope falling abruptly to the lower land. The large scale deformation of the earth's crust which produced continents, ocean basins and mountain ranges is known as diastrophism. All the highest plateaus of the earth are the direct products of diastrophism. Plateaus may be classified as intermountain plateaus, Piedmont plateaus, domed plateaus and volcanic plateaus. Now let us study about each of the plateau one by one. Intermountain plateaus. They are surrounded by mountains. They show an extraordinary variety of topographic feature. For example, plateau of Tibet, plateau of Bolivia and Peru and the Mexican plateau and so on. Now next is Piedmont plateau. They are also called as border plateaus. These are the plateau which are surrounded by mountain ranges on one side and plain or oceans in the other side. For example, plateaus of Patagonia in Argentina and the Malva plateaus in India. Now, next is domed plateau. They are otherwise called as dissected plateaus. When running water or streams cut enough deep valleys in different parts of the plateau, it becomes a dissected plateau. For example, mesas in Spain. Now, the next plateau is volcanic plateau. They are formed by the deposition of lava erupted from the volcanoes. For example, Deccan plateau, Snake River region of Idaho, USA and the Western Grand Canyon in Arizona. Now, let us study about the six different plateaus have different types of climatography. The plateaus of the world are arid or semi-arid. Agriculture is possible in certain places which have basaltic soil such as Deccan lands of India, Columbia Plateau of Washington and so on. Some plateaus are rich in minerals such as coal, iron, mica, bauxite etc. are found in abundance in most of the plateaus. Now let us study about the plains. Plains are extensive flat areas of low altitude. They have a they have a height of less than 150 meters above the sea level. An important characteristic of plain is that they have a completely level or nearly level surface. According to their situation and mode of origin, plains can be divided into following types. Structural plains, depositional plains and one more is erosional plains. Now let us study about the structural plains. Structural planes are formed by diastrophic forces. These are formed by the upliftment of land beneath the ocean water. These are structurally depressed areas also which form very extensive lowlands. For example, Russian platforms, Great Plains of North America, Central Lowlands of Australia, etc. Now, the next is the depositional plains. 